start. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we'll begin our meeting with the Pledge to the Flag. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. First of all, I'd like to apologize to everyone because of the weather, uh, not because I have anything to do with the weather, but knowing the circumstances, I probably would have canceled the meeting, but I uh, listened to the weather yesterday and I thought we'd have a foot of snow this morning and we didn't have any, so I didn't really pay that much attention to what was going on this afternoon, so uh, I guess we'll just have a short meeting tonight. Uh, so at that, we'll have, uh, if everybody's had a chance to read over the minutes and operating statements, if they have, we're in line for a motion to approve those. I make a motion that we approve the operating statements, December 22nd, 2014 council meeting minutes, January 12th, 2015 work session minutes, and Quantum's financial statement for December 2014. Okay, we have a motion on the floor. We have a second? I'll second it. And we have a second. Do we have any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, ayes? Aye. 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 Noes, motion's carried. Okay, under the mayor's report, um, we do have a, um, one new person that's going to serve on the election board, uh, Kelly Selby. I talked to her. Uh, that's only going to be like one meeting ahead of time, and then the day of the election, they have to s come in here that day and be here at 6.30 in the morning and stay until the polls close and all the votes are counted. So she agreed to do that, uh, and I gave you have all the information, right, Dawn? I gave you her email and everything. So she's going to do that. And then um, after the election this year, everybody that is on the election board, their term is up. So uh, if you know of anybody that wants to serve on the election board, that board's uh, been the same people for ever. And uh, I'd like to get some new people on that board also. So uh, Kelly will serve, and then we'll still have to get uh, two more people at the end of that, at the end of May, that's when their term runs out. So if you know anybody that may want to do that, that's just involved sitting here all day long and, and taking care of the elections. How many people is that that you need? It'd be three to, well, I need two. I need two more people. <laughs> oh, and I haven't talked to her yet. I have to see if she wants to be reappointed or not. So, uh, but if we can get you know, all new people because, uh, you know, those people have been there for a long time. So if you know anybody that's interested, um, give me their names and we'll uh, have those appointed to that committee. Um, I have a gentleman I have to speak to. I haven't talked to him yet. We've been playing phone tag that's interested in going on the uh, planning and zoning as an alternate. And our alternate is uh, usually attends all the meetings because uh, a lot of times we're one person short, but it's nice for the alternate to be there that way that he can keep up to date when they have the meetings and if someone's at, not there, then he's not out of the loop with what's going on. So I have a gentleman that's just moved to town not too long ago that's interested in getting involved. So I, I haven't, uh, we've been playing phone tag back and forth. So I'm going to talk to him and see if he wants to come on board on that. Um, we do have a new business that is uh, interested in coming to town. I think Selby's working with them on some zoning, make sure they pass all the zoning and everything. And uh, uh, it's uh, Terry's tag and title, wants to go in out on the corner where the uh, restoration car shop is. So hopefully uh, we will be more than entertaining new business because we have a bad reputation of running business out of town so we're going to do everything we can to make sure as long as the zoning and everything's right we've got to bring business into town so i'm sure that that's going to be a a plus for john out here at his bis his place but also for the people in union bridge to have this in town um the union bridge business association will They've been meeting on Mondays, and they have some people that can't make Mondays, so now they're going to change to the third Thursday at 7.30. They'll be meeting in here. So starting February's meeting, 
it'll be the third Thursday, the third Tuesday, I mean, instead of the Monday. So we will be meeting on Tuesday morning at 7.30 here. So any business that is in Union Bridge, whether they belong to the association or not, is more than welcome to come to the meeting um, to set and tell everybody, you know, what they what their business is about and interact with the other businesses. And the group is doing uh, pretty good right now, and we hope that more of the businesses get involved. Uh, the way they're working their program now, they're, it's, it's more of a business meeting, and everybody gets up and they introduce themselves and they talk about what kind of business they have and they interact with the group. And it's, it's been really good for the last couple of months. Uh, we've had some new people, and these people have actually just talking back and forth of what they have, what they do in their business. They've picked up business from other people in the area in the business meeting because they knew somebody that says, oh, well, I can use, you know, I know somebody is looking for that. So it's, it's the interaction of the committee. So it's been working very well. So uh, you've been getting uh, emails from Larry Ketron uh, with the committee. So it's, it's a positive for us right now. So hopefully that'll keep going the way it is. Um, that's probably about all that I can think of right now under mine, unless I think of something else. But we'll go to John on the, uh, John's report. Okay. Um, first thing uh, on the agenda is the capital improvement program for FY2016. I understand you all have uh, copies of that in your packet. Uh, it was, in fact, recommended uh, by the Planning Commission at its last meeting about 10 days or so ago and uh, forwarded to you as it is annually for approval by council. So also before you is resolution uh, number 01-15, which would be uh, your uh, acceptance of the uh, and approval of the FY16 uh, capital improvement program. I will note that I don't know if this got changed or not, but the, the title sheet says FY15, but if you see just below that, I'm not sure if it was changed on your copies. Is it uh, FY16 just below that, to it FY21? Say, yeah, just below it, it says FY16 to FY21, okay. so mm -hmm. it actually should be the FY16. Oh, right so here. Okay. That needs to be changed. Mm -hmm. Okay, if the council has no questions on that, we need a motion to approve the capital improvements or two day for the, well, it's a resolution, so resolution number 01-15. Okay, I'll make a motion. We uh, accept the resolution number 01-15. I'll second that. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any questions? Hearing none, all those in favor, ayes. Aye. Nose. Motion's carried, so we'll get the, I guess the original and I'll get that signed for you, John. I have that right here. And then the, uh, the other thing I have, um, Dawn uh, brought to my attention that the two years is up on the records retention and disposal schedule that the town has and has had for several years. Uh, and by under state law, the town is required to re renew or update that policy every two years. So it's been two years. Um, it did not get on the agenda because we picked it up late. It doesn't have to be done this month, but Dawn advises me because the, the uh, the process here is that the clerk treasurer is the custodian of the record, so she makes a recommendation to the council. Uh, she's looked at the, the policy again and doesn't see any reason to make any changes. So it would be up for renewal of the same policy. At the same time, I went back and looked at COMAR, the Code of Maryland Regulations, to make sure nothing changed that would, would impact our policy. And uh, there, there was a change back in 2010 before we renewed this the last time, um, or maybe even two times ago, and there hasn't been any change since. So apparently it's working in a satisfactory manner. And again, it's not uh, required to be done tonight, but we're on that two-year okay. you know, cycle now. And uh, actually, as of the last cycle, I noticed in, uh, in my file, it used to be that we, re we would report the updates to the state records division. 
and they don't even require us to do that. So we put it in the minutes, we put it in the file, and I think we're in compliance without doing anything more. Okay. This council's wishes you want to take action on this now? You want to? I make a motion that we accept the renewal of the um, records retention and disposal schedule as it is now with no changes. Okay. I second it. We have a motion and a second on the floor. Is there any questions? Hearing none, all those in favor, ayes. Aye. Noes, motion's carried. Okay. And that's all I have. Don't think Jarrett's going to make it today for grants. Uh, <coughs> Donnie might have just a little bit of update on when we get down to his committee. Uh, we have no public here, so we have no public comments and concerns. Um, <coughs> we'll go right into committee reports. Ellen. Okay, the Carroll County Environmental Advisory Council met. Um, we've um, did updates to the environmental stewardship in Carroll County brochure, which might be something to have, nice to have handy for new people moving into the, or new businesses planning to move into Carroll County in Union Bridge. Um, that can be found on the, on their website. We also um, worked on the, um, the yearly report to the, um, commissioners and our plans for the um, next year. They're working on a MPDES MS4 public outreach workshop for commercial and industrial business community that the EAC is going to be working on putting together and providing for them for those businesses around the county who actually need to have a discharge permit so they know what's going on and what they need to do. That's something that's in the works for this next year. Um, also had a meeting, the uh, Solid Waste Advisory Council had a meeting and um, we're working on putting together something to bring before the commissioners for the few meetings that we had in 2014 and what we're planning to do going forward in 2015. So that's being worked on. Other than that, I don't think I have anything. Okay. Do you have information on if I were mayor for me? They've already gone out to the schools and you've already gotten here, haven't you? Oh, okay. So it's... Yeah, you know, the schools already have it. Right. I knew that you had said that, but I thought that you had something for me as well. Just a copy of that. Probably just a copy of that, but I'll look back through my records and see what, I, what else I have that I can give you. Okay. Um, the biggest thing is suggesting to the teachers that, you know, it doesn't say in there that you need to look at punctuation, grammar, and, and spelling and all that kind of stuff, but when those essays get read, they not only get judged on how well they know their municipal government based on the answers to their qu the question that's asked, it also gets judged on grammar and punctuation and spelling and complete sentences and all that stuff. So, and I'd really like to see some come in from Elmer Wolf this year, since we didn't have any at all last year. Okay, thank you. But I'll get you what I have, okay. if I have anything. Laura? I had a resident from Honeysuckle Lane call in that there was a light out on their street across from her house, and I went and got the poll number, and we submitted it, and Dawn said there's a light somewhere on Main Street that we need to check out. But that's all for me. Okay, Edgar. Uh, <clears throat> we're getting some prices on replacing the double doors up the center where you go out to each uh, patio. And so as soon as I get the prices back, I'll get with Don and we'll bring it up and probably put it in next year's budget. Okay. Is it? Okay, Donald. Okay, since, <clears throat> since Jared's and I here, the grant, is for our uh, dump truck, and everything is a, is a go, so we're, uh, it's being uh, made right now, and we hope to get it by springtime, and so that's, uh, I'm, really, uh, I'm really pleased with that uh, process that we went through to get that. Actually, we got it from uh, Krause put in, that we had three bids, and Krause came in with the lowest bid, 
So that's what we're that's who we went with. Uh, also, uh, I think we've had two uh, bids for the trail. Is that correct? Do we have two bids? I don't have any bids yet. I had two people pick two up. Two bids apply for, uh, uh, I should say, for the uh, packet for the trail. So we're going to get that done, or some of it. I hope we get all of it done, but I, I don't know. We'll see how our money, how far our money goes, takes, takes us. Snow, everybody knows we got snow. We ain't going to keep on getting it, so... Uh, Stan Ball is again doing our uh, snow removal and they're doing an excellent job. We can't seem to please everyone, but that's standard procedure. Uh, but they'll continue, uh, uh, continue to do our snow removal. And like I said, I think they're doing a, a nice job at it. So that's pretty much it. Okay. Amy. I received one phone call since our last meeting about a water issue. It was on Canary Street and it was taken care of. It was on the town side. We took care of it. Um, that was this past weekend. And January 15th, the Planning and Zoning Commission met and we have a new liaison to Union Bridge from the Carroll County Planning Office. His name is Scott Graff. Um, but Bobby Moser, our previous liaison um, and planner spoke to us about the events that have happened since we last met. And uh, she gave us out a new Union Bridge Community Comprehensive Plan, and all of you have gotten one. <laughs> um, the planning and zoning approved it, the council adopted it, and it is five pages longer than the last time it was issued. Um, also, the Carroll County Master Plan um, has been updated November 5th. It went to the county planning and zoning meeting and was discussed on December 19th. It was approved and it was given to the county commissioners and is in a hold pattern right now. Um, during the meeting, there was a discussion about the municipal growth area um, and it will continue to be discussed. Uh, a county priority letter was sent out, which is the consolidated transportation program. It is done every year and on page four, the truck route study um, it was done and it is in the highway needs inventory. And on September 18th, there's a tour by the Department of Transportation. That is all that I have. That's their annual tour they have it every is. year. It is. They have a, actually, there's two meetings, they have a tour and then they have come back and have the other meeting. Yes. Okay. And we haven't heard anything. Uh, I see they're actually doing some surveying, I guess, I guess maybe they wait till spring to replace the bridge out at the south end of town uh, that's set right across Frederick County. Yeah. Uh, they've been, look like they've got some new stakes out there. So I guess they'll be doing some work out there on that bridge replacement sometime soon. And if anybody ask all of the, I guess all the little marks and the paintings on the square is, uh, uh, I guess they're just marking wires and stuff. I don't know where they're working with the, uh, uh, working coming from Elmer Wolf School to the fire hall with the uh, uh, additional lines they're supposed to be putting in. So I don't know, but there's just, they've been, uh, I guess it's uh, Miss Utility has been marking lines. So there's like three or four different colors of paint all around the square that they've been marking. So Amy called me one day and I went up and checked it and they were gone when I got there, but that's what they're doing. So I looked at all the marks. So that's what that's about. Um, you have anything else? No. Okay. Uh, the supposed report that um, the new governor was sworn in last week, and on the website, if anybody would like to volunteer on any uh, commissions or committees, they have a whole website that you can volunteer for those. Uh, uh, a lot of those commissions are, that's what they are, they're commissions, they're non-paying jobs or anything. Uh, you know, you may have to run who knows where to get on those committees. So. I don't, you know, foresee a bunch of people from Union Bridge wanting to get on a bunch of those committees because it is very time consuming. Um, over the years I've been on different committees, they kind of like shove you into, they ask you about getting on there. It's supposed to be one or two meetings a year and then end up being six or eight or 10. So just be careful what you wish for. Uh, but some of them are interesting. Um, does anybody else have anything for us tonight? So we have a light crowd here. I feel so sorry for the, uh, 
CMC, it takes them longer to set up than what our meetings is. <laughs> the roads are getting bad. I had a yes. hard time. It was very slow. I didn't have a hard time sliding around, but it was just 25, 30 yeah. miles an hour all the way up. Like I say, it, yeah. and there's my, no covered now. My it's fault. Really yeah. hard. Well, it's, when I left, it was just at the wrong time, I guess, because it just started snowing really hard all the way up, and it's created a little covering of snow. <laughs> Lots of trucks, all trucks out. That was the other roadblock in Westminster, <laughs> behind three saw trucks. Yeah. Well, Eric, again, I'm sorry about that because I, if, if I'd have paid more attention to the weather, uh, I probably would have canceled the meeting tonight and had it next week. But you know, you can't go by what the weatherman says most of the well, time. You no, know, it held up pretty well most of the day. Yeah. It just, mm -hmm. just yeah, actually it keeps going for light snow. Yeah. So. so, and it is light snow. It is. <laughs> okay, our next meeting will be February the 9th. That will be the work session, and the rec next regular council meeting will be February the 23rd, um, February the 4th, or the February the 5th and the 6th. I will be out of town because I'll be in Annapolis for the uh, Maryland Mayor's Association meeting. Uh, so hopefully the weather will be better this year than it was last year when we were supposed to, when we had that, because that's where we had the ice storm last year. So, um, so. I'll be in Annapolis those two days. So if there's no further business, we're in line for a motion to adjourn. I make a motion that we adjourn. I'll second it. We have a motion and a second to adjourn. Or any discussions? <laughs> Hearing none, all those in favor, ayes. Aye. No, motion's carried. Thank you very much for attending. I see you, uh, hope it doesn't